Hey guys, Bobby here. So today I figured we'll take a look at a uh, Benchmade 940. And this is a terrific, terrific EDC knife. I mean, for for what you get, I mean, for it being so light, <laughs> I love that access lock. See how this one falls? That is great. But for this being so light, I mean, you get a 3.4 inch blade, and it's like two and a half ounces. Uh, but I'll throw all the stats in the description. This is a super light knife with a whole lot of cutting length. And, uh, you know, you watch other, uh, just watch, you know, videos on the 940 or even this, this knife. And, uh, you know, I mean, people love this thing. And, uh, you know, I mean, they're very passionate about it. Like, you know, some people are, uh, me in particular <laughs> on, uh, the paramilitary too. I definitely love the paramilitary too, but this is a great knife also. Um, you know, right off the bat, would I say it's a paramilitary? Uh, no, you know, I, I definitely like the paramilitary more. That's just my personal preference. But uh, this weighs, you know, I mean, it's, it's two and a half ounces. So if weight is an issue to you and you definitely want a, you know, a, a, you know, a blade that's pretty much, you know, can handle any task, a really good tip. I mean, then this, this is, you know, what does, this, <laughs> this will do it for you. Um, you know, I love that reverse tanto design. Uh, just really good ergonomics. I mean, just fits in your hand. There's no jimping. But, I mean, you don't really need jimping, uh, especially on this knife. I mean, you could, you know, get your thumb all the way up here. Uh, you could hold it there, although that's not comfortable because of that ramp. Uh, but, you know, for, for most things, you're going to hold it like this. Unless if, you know, you're doing some, something real fine. A lot of times I, I always open things up like, like that. You see, that's really comfortable. Uh, you see how that kind of just goes down. So... Gives you good tip control, and you know, like I was saying earlier, I mean that is that is a great tip. Uh, cutting edge is really good, but this does have a stone wash stone wash finish. I think because that S ninety V is so so hard, uh, you can't see ground lines. Up oh, there it is. Let's see if you guys can see it. You could still see the grind lines in there. You got some good, good shot of the blade S90V still. And you can see, uh, you can see in the light. Really nice carbon fiber though. And I like that parkerized clip. You know, it's not going to get scratches real easy, so it's going to hold up. See the liners there. So liners only go about right up to here, uh, right where you see that screw right there. So that's about where the liners go, and I mean it is all carbon fiber. So that's just to you know give it some a little more sturdiness. But I mean carbon fiber is super strong, and you're not gonna you know the handle's not gonna break on you. That's for sure. Uh, and it is solid. I have very, very little side to side, no up and down. But I mean, very little. It's just a little wiggle. I could probably tighten that down. As you can see, it's it's uh, falling loose. Uh, one thing I have noticed, and this is on a lot of people's, actually everyone's I've seen. You can see that is crooked. So for some reason, when they grind this at the factory, that tip. Let's see here. As you can see, it kind of goes downwards like that. So the angle that they grind this at right here, so it goes kind of at an angle like this. And I have seen multiple people's on YouTube, and I'm always looking at that. And that is that is how everyone's is. So that is not just you know uh, yours or mine. <laughs> It is all of ours. So that's just something I noticed. You can see it right there. Looks a little off centered, 
but whenever you look at the tip, it is. I think it's just an illusion from from that there, because it's because it's a little crooked. So, but you know, overall, I think it it is a really nice knife. Uh, one thing I do think about some Benchmades, I I think for for the price, honestly, I think it's a little high. You know, and that's that's kind of hard for me to say when. You know, some people say that about uh, Sabenzas, but, you know, I don't know. For me, I think they're worth it. Um, you know, this is another great EDC knife, uh, Sage 1. But we'll do a few size comparisons. Here's a small Sabenza. That's the Insingo carbon fiber. So you see how much more cut and length you get. And, I mean, at two and a half ounces, I mean, that's, that is crazy. Uh, paramilitary 2. Uh, all these, <laughs> I brought these out because, I mean, they are like, you know, EDC Hall of Famers there. Um, and Spyderco Sage 1. But overall, I think it's a great knife. Uh, I think it is a little expensive, though. But, uh, you know, if you're a fan of the 940, <laughs> you're just going to jump on it. And, I mean, I can understand that, definitely. Uh, it's a great overall knife. I love the access lock. Super light. Gives you a whole lot of cutting length for, for its size. But well, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching. Bye.